Hello everybody and welcome to the Sam Show! And as you guys know, I am an author, and being an author, I tend to need inspiration to be able to write. I can't just go on with, like, completely blank and then just start typing. I'll be like, what the heck is going on? I'll be completely bored and I'll start putting crap down. And then I'll think in my mind at that time, I'll think, yeah, this is amazing, man, I'm tripping. And then the next day, I'll go back and read it. I'm like, holy crap, what am I doing? But I am prepared to do it to get the job done because I'm actually creating two books, three books right now. Uh, one that I just jumped on to because I, um, uh, my, my dad gave me an idea. Or not really, I kind of, I, I looked up on YouTube the youngest author and it was this eight-year-old, eight I think, no, nine-year-older. I think the youngest author was, like, four. But I meant for, like, a fantasy fiction book. And uh, the oldest was nine. Or the youngest was nine. And she made a book called My London. I haven't read it. I might look it up sometime. But it's called My London. And she made a different book. I forget what it's called. But I looked it up, and it looked pretty cool. And then there's this other one I think is, like, a seven- or eight-year-older who, it wasn't fantasy, but it was, uh, like, uh, it was like a fairy tale. That's not necessarily fantasy. Fantasy is like, you know, Doctor, what? Not Doctor Who? Ah, Harry Potter, um, you know, magic, that's a book, magic, and a bunch of other, like, stuff, magical books. Uh, like Horrorland. That's kind of, no, that's not really, um, Goosebumps Horrorland. That's not really fantasy as much as it is like science fiction that's what that is science fiction but anyways so i'm making my own book called mo and that is basically that that's what my middle name is my middle name is mo or not my middle name my middle name is james oh, crap. <laughs> you already knew that from the james show on iron vlogs uh if you watched that or when at the time it was um just it was like the last game or nine nine eight uh, then it was also, like, the last, yeah, I was gonna change it to, it was, like, Good God Gaming, but I didn't, because I didn't want to have two gaming accounts, but, yeah, this is going on, this is also a new announcement that both are, this, the Sam Show is now going to be streamed on every single one of my channels, Iron Challenge, Iron Vlogs, and Iron Zombie, it is not, I don't think it's going to be streamed, not live streamed. I'll, I need to figure out how to do a live stream. But I'm going to be honest with you, the quality for live streams are cruddy sometimes. Uh, especially the 3D camera, you know, like where you can flick around the screen and see around it. Dang, I'm going off course. Anyway, so Mo is basically about my first day of second grade and then just basically just going upwards into my life. And then I don't want to go all the way down to this moment or like to this day or i want that would be the biggest book in the entire world and one i i can't really remember every single word every single thing that i said in second grade third grade fourth grade or fifth grade i can't even remember every word i said just today or like maybe an hour ago or when my mom before she left for work you know i can't remember every single thing like i i can't even remember really like five minutes ago every single word i said in one minute oh here's leonardo he's been being a booger lately ever since we had to give him a shower he's been being a booger because he didn't like it were those girls hurting you were those girls giving you a shower at your own will not at your own will he didn't like it i could hear him yeah okay you can go but I could hear him meowing from outside with the volume on 38. It was terrible. But yeah, so I'm making a book named Mo, and then I'm working on Thidi Clasp and the Twin of Elf Spell. If you remember Elf Spell, that was a very old book based off of Skyrim in the Skyrim game. But I decided to abandon that and kind of mix it, mix some, some of the details some of the storyline that's not based off Skyrim, because I don't want it to be a fan-made book. I want to be it my own fantasy book, and so, you know, I wanted. I don't want to have be, be based off a game. I was going to an elf spell, but I didn't, and I changed it. I kept the same name as of Thidi Clasp. Uh, basically, what the, it is. Dang, I keep saying oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to do a very good job at not saying uh, you know. 
But Guided Clasp is actually also from Elspell, and basically what, you know, Guided Clasp and the twin of Elspell is about is how he figured out that his evil twin, or it's not really, when you say evil twin, I don't really mean, like, from Cinderella, the evil twins. I mean, like, a dark lord took over the other Thidi class body and forced him to do bad. That kind of evil twin. And basically, that's bad. <sighs> A good whack always helps me. Alright, so Elf Spell is basically connected with the Toy of Elf Spell. Anyways, guys, so something came in the mail yesterday, and I was didn't know what it was till my mom told me. And I spent only, like, it was $6 on it, but the thing itself was only 50 it was $0.08, cents, but the shipping was $5. But the thing is, it came all the way from China. If you guys can guess, all I'm going to say is it's a poster from one of my favorite video games, which is actually Japanese, but I don't know why. It's anime. If you guessed Legend of Zelda, that is right. It's the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker poster that I got in the mail yesterday. I didn't even know really what it was till it was on the, till my mom told me. The funny thing is that it smells like it smells like Chinese dip sauce, like one of the stuff you put your dumplings in. I know, right? It's kind of weird. But it's still awesome. But yeah, it came in like a scroll. And they have these things up here that will help you hook it. And for some reason, on top of it, it was like a scroll, you know, and it has a little crease. It came with this bamboo stick. And I don't know why. I don't know what you do with the bamboo stick. Maybe you, like, put it in here or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just a souvenir. But yeah, it's got Toon Link on it. It's got all his friends, even the little leaf dude. It's got his boat. It's got the dragon up here. It's got the hawk dude up here. I think he's got... No, he's like a... You know what? I, uh... And then he's got the pirate boat. I don't think it has the guy from the Phantom Hourglass on it, though. That one dude who tricked them, and he, Link found him in that, like, temple dungeon thing, and... Yeah, so... <laughs> That was also, it had the same animation slash art as uh, Wind Waker did. And the Phantom Hourglass, as you know, came before Wind Waker. So that kind of made sense that they'd want to redo it. And I think Wind Waker made more money than the Phantom Hourglass. Especially because it, was like, it wasn't the first Wii game, or Wii Legend of Zelda game. The first Wii Legend of Zelda game was... Skyward Sword, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Skyward Sword. If not, put in the comments below if it's Skyward Sword or not. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video here. The same show I'm trying to make under 10 minutes because we figured out that people are most likely to watch our videos if they're not as long. So, this went by very fast. It didn't even feel like 8 minutes. It felt a lot shorter. But... If you remember my other video, you know that this, for Christmas, I got this gaming chair, and I have also gotten the PS3, a PS3, well, it was our old PS3, but now we have a PS4, and a TV, and right now I'm loading, it's downloading Shadows of Mordor, I got it on sale for $13, because I, for Christmas, got $20 for the PlayStation, so guys, hope you enjoyed this video, if you want more Sam's show, then go ahead and check out.